This is some wild shit. Wild shit? So is that your professional medical opinion? Look, all I'm trying to say is this dude right here, it's him. The New York Ripper. You're supposed to be an aspiring doctor. What's the story on this one? Read the report. Multiple homicides across town before he caught lead to the vest. Dr. Gage has called his weekend off just so he can be here to see this personally. Until then, he's all yours. Have fun. Little creep. What did I do to deserve this? Assistant Medical Examiner Reese, it is August 4th, time is 9.40 a.m. Performing a general examination in the absence of Dr. Gage. Oh joy. Subject appears to be an adult male, 5'10 to 6 feet tall, weight between 160 and 180 pounds which is extremely vague, if you ask me. Let's remove this mask. NYNetwork.com. My name is Nick LaRosa, and I'm here to shine a light on the stories that get lost in the dark. As of 2008, there were over 1,000 crimes that were unsolved in the area of New York City. Some crimes of opportunity, some crimes of passion but a few, or something else entirely. All right, welcome back. I just received information about a story that happened in the late 80s about a dock worker with ties to human traffic and was found murdered, but this guy was not just murdered, he was torn up. Okay, so this next bit of information just came to me from an underground source. Halloween 94, there was a group killing, a massacre by what they understand to be one individual. Now those massacred were young offenders that had a reputation for assault, battery, theft. Bit by bit, story by story, so far, I see a pattern. Every one of these individuals had been brutally beaten, bludgeoned, or stabbed to death. Not one gunshot, and that's unheard of today. As I'm getting through this case, more and more I have reason to believe that all this is leading to one individual. 
That's one man behind all of this. I have one interview with a woman, and I quote, she says, he had no face. <sighs> Alright guys, I just had a frustrating day with the police. Turns out that, uh, of course, they're not on this case. Why would they be? I mean, this guy, whoever's killing these people, he's killing rapists, murderers, drug dealers. Why would they care? Why would they care that somebody's killing people? Hello, friends. Welcome back. Today, I have a question. Do you think it's okay to have somebody take lives, even though most are bad? And when I say most, there are still innocent people dying? If the answer is in any way no, then help. Once upon a time, there were a series of murders and the poor sections of a great, great city. The victims? Prostitutes. Public, grossly uninformed. Police, uniformly uninterested. Murderer's name, Jack the Ripper. 100 years later, ladies and gentlemen, I believe New York has its own Ripper. I mean like this care or someone will start to get suspicious. Hey, how have you been? Uh, pretty good. I like the hat. Nice touch. Are you expecting somebody else? We shouldn't stand here too long. Good to see you can make it. You wrote a rather convincing email. Listen, before we go any further, I need you to do me a favor, right? Sure, what's up? Regardless of whatever happens, I need you to protect my identity at any cost. Okay, how long are we gonna go over this? Okay, you're my number one source. I would never turn you over. You've resurrected my blog site from oblivion. Can you protect me? I need this from you. I will do my best. Is that good enough? It's getting harder and harder to leave the office. Long hours? I think I might be in trouble, right? The less you know, the better. I wish you would just tell me a little bit about what's going on here. I've made other arrangements. This is the last time we'll see each other. Okay, come I on. can't say anything, but you'll get something in the mail explaining everything. Okay, hang, hang on. Just talk to me. What's going on? I've got too much at stake. I need to make sure I'm safe before opening Pandora's box. What is this? A little parting gift. Uh, She's getting more and more brazen. He's not afraid to attack the police. I gotta get out of here fast. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Let me help you. I can help you with this, okay? Here. I gotta go. Take this. What is this? Hey, hey, shit. Nick LaRosa. Be careful, Nick, please. Yeah, it sounds like this girl is stringing you along. I, it, it, it's too convenient. I mean, here's this woman comes along. She basically gives you this story. You know, I mean, 30 years in the field, that like never happened to me. Are you sure this uh, girl is credible? I'm telling you, it's because I heard that my site's doing well. Trust me, if you met her, you'd feel the same way. Uh -huh. She's cute, isn't she? She's hideous. Yeah. Are you really that desperate? You're willing to trust a pretty face? I don't know if desperate defines my situation anymore. They're threatening to shut off my power. Hey, hey, look, Nick. You know, if you're strapped for cash, you know, I could lend you some. You know, Bibi and I have some saved up. It's not that big a deal. I appreciate that, Joel. I, I do. Um, 
I need you to do something else for me. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. What am I going to do for you now? Do you have any favors left at records? Yeah, like one, if even that. Okay, and you know that cop, the one that lived? I mean, I have her name, I just... I, I can't find anything on her. There's just there's nothing there. It's like they've closed the files. I don't, I don't know what they've done. I just can't find anything. If you could, if you could just find something on her, I, I, I'd really appreciate that. All right, well, what's her name? Thank you, Joel. Thank you so much. What's her name? Her I'm name? Really, uh, uh, it's uh, Angel um, uh, uh, Vega, Vega, V-E-G-A. V All right. Just uh, give me a couple of days. I'll give you a call. I'll let you know if I find anything, okay? All right. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. I just got to take care of a few more leads. All right. Um, All right, have a good night, sweetheart. Don't let the bed bugs bite. What's Beaumont doing? What? I said, what's Beaumont doing? Beaumont is listening to TV. <laughs> what's he watching? Reality show? I don't know. It sounds terrible. <laughs> Look. Thank you for coming through tonight. I really needed the extra hands. What do you think of the job? Um, it's all right. I mean, it's good. It's not better than the floors. So I don't know why you left, but uh, I'm gonna have a nice little pension when I'm in my 40s. And that could have been you. A lot sooner, in fact. Look, I make my own hours. I choose my own assignments. And you know what? I kind of feel like James Bond with all these listing bugs and such. <laughs> and you know what? You could be, um, what's that, what's that woman's name? The secretary. You could be money penny. Yeah, I'll be your money penny. <laughs> Have you uh, talked to Phil or something? Yeah, the other day. Did you say anything about me? About what, you working off hours? Yeah. Don't even worry about that. It'll be our little secret. I'm serious. All right, I can get him in a lot of trouble for doing this. Uh. Look, you want some coffee or something? There's a store at the corner. Shut up. Did you hear that? What? What? Listen. I think somebody's inside. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Angel, wait for backup! Listen, I'm gonna take the back, you take the front, alright? Shit. This is Officer Vega, batch number 1132635, requesting assistance at 168 Sheridan Avenue.
okay? All right, piss on your neck, piss on your neck. Angel, Angel, Angel! Miss Vega, we can continue another time if you wish. I'm available at your discretion, you know this. It's fine. It's therapy, right? Of course. Will this always stay with me? Yes, it will. Witnessing what you have will always leave scars deeper than the surface. The point of these sessions is to help you not to forget about the incident, but to get past it. I don't want to lose everything that, that I worked for, you know, my career. Let's discuss that for a little while. Uh, you were with the NYPD for six years? Five. It's all I ever wanted. I tried signing up right after high school. <laughs> Being a police officer tends to be a generational heritage. Most cops have close family members that are cops. That wasn't true in your case. Why is that? I grew up in the Bronx. <laughs> Where everyone I knew was either dealing or using. My mom OD'd when I was <clears throat> 17. I had to take care of my sister somehow. Your sister, Danielle, right? Are you still um, living with her? Until I'm ready to go back to work, yes. And how's that going? Everything okay between you and her? Yeah, it's, I'm, it's good. You know, my little niece likes hearing about all the time she used to get in trouble. <laughs> Something wrong? Do you have family, Dr. Felice? Yes, I, I do have family. Although I haven't seen them for... A long time. If you were me, would you feel like, like you're a burden to them? Is that the way you feel with your sister? Like a burden? I, I mean, she has her own problems, you know? She, she shouldn't have to deal with my bullshit. I find that family love is needed the most when the bullshit is at its highest. Mm -hmm. So this was a great session. We have a few more of these. You'll be back on the job before you know it. Thanks. I'll put you in for not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday coming up. Is that all right? Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, what happened to... Uh, Miss Penn? Yeah. Uh, she was a, a temp. Um, and the, the agency has yet to issue a replacement. <laughs> um, one final thing about your request. Now, this is your second refill. Do I need to be concerned? Uh, look, I like taking them as much as you like giving them. How come you haven't seen your family in so long? I'll see you next Wednesday, Miss Vega. We're doing comprehensive research on the fact that there's a serial killer running around the five boroughs. Did you rehearse that one? <laughs> Officer Vega. 
Vega. Vega, I would love to be able to do a interview full on inside on you. I mean, with you inside scoop with that. Listen, don't you have some blonde socialite you should be blogging about, her latest sex tape or something? Actually, she's a brunette. I, she just recently turned blonde. Nick LaRosa, I run the NY Network. Didn't ask. I'm really interested in your story. There's nothing to tell, okay? Why don't you try the PR department? But if I remember correctly, they're not too fond of bloggers. Can we just stop walking for a minute and talk? It'll be really quick. Okay, have it your way. Nick LaRosa, nynetwork.com. Interview with former NYPD officer Angel Vega. Vega. Officer Vega, on the night of April 14th, four months ago of this year, what really occurred? You know I could do this all the way, right? You know I'm really trying to be polite, right? Okay, look, I get it. It's a traumatic thing, okay? I understand that. But the information that you confirm for me right now is really going to help. The only thing that I want to confirm is that you need to fuck off. Officer Vega, is it true that you were off duty when you were meeting with Livingston Beaumont, a uh, possible suspect of the Ripper killings? No comment. What's that? I said no comment. Officer Vega, do you always use a private detective or is this a one time thing? No comment. What's that? Officer Vega, can you tell me anything about the man in the mask? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Angel, listen. I, I, I really, I really need this information from you, okay? I, I think I have something that will help find out who this guy is. I can even help your buddies in blue apprehend this sick bastard. Just... Just, all I need you to do is just, just, the information that you confirmed for me is just going to blow this whole thing wide open. What are you doing? Are you writing a book? This is my life, not some online blurb in your forum. It's my life. Not some way for you to make a name for yourself on my pain. You don't want to talk? Fine, okay. Others will come forward and have the courage to do so. You can go back to hiding once a week and talk in some little room about your little feelings and- Listen, you little shit. If I find out that you've been following me this entire time, invading my privacy, I will bury you. Understand? Can I quote you on that? I'll be right down in a minute. Hi, I'm sorry, I'm coming down right now. Hello? Hello? time too because dinner's almost ready. I can see that. What do we have? Okay, stand back because you're gonna get burned, okay? <laughs> what we have here, we have some chuleta, some peppers, some oh. zanahoria, that's carrots, some onions, you know. Onions? Okay. And if you don't mind, the meal is in the preparation, so you gotta... Continue washing these Hey, Ange. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you corral your niece out of the room? I'm afraid to go in there. Oh, uh, what kind of mood is she in? 
She saw one of those new, uh, the, the, the vampire movies, the new day, new dawn, breaking light, whatever. Uh -huh. Now she's convinced she's supposed to fall in love with the undead. I got it. Hey, hey, Ange, do me a favor. Please tell her that it's London Borough because she hates true like that. Please. I got it. All right. I got it. Maddie? I have a huge wound from my one too long. Well, he's probably about to have dinner just like we are, so come on, let's go. No food, no drink is enough to sustain me. Only as in time to go, can make me feel whole again. <laughs> okay, uh. Then I'll just, I'll go finish Renny's London Broil by myself, yeah? Renny's London Broil? Yeah, but you know, devotion, undying love. Not some way for you to make a name for yourself on my pain. You don't want to talk? Fine, okay. Others will come forward and have the courage to do so. You can go back to hiding once a week and talk in some little room about your little feelings. And oh. Oh. He really hit you. There is a God. Thank you. Today was not a total loss, my friends. <laughs> Who was it? That, my friend, is Miss Somme Betis. She lives in Harlem and she has got a story to tell, my friend. And what about Mike Tyson here? Yeah, I think it's pretty clear we're going to leave Miss Vega alone. Yeah. Why do I feel a bud coming at the end of that sentence? But I mean, this is going to be the story. Joel. This is going to be the story. It's going to it's going to put me on the map. It's going to explode. And if I get the word of one of this city's finest, it's going to hold so much weight. Yo, Nick, I've been thinking about this situation you got yourself into, and I don't like it, dude. You know, it's too many X factors, too many variables. Your reputation, your, your career, your life. It's like a house of cards. <clears throat> one bad gust. One slight shake, and he's coming down. Joel, I mean, how are you? Shit, how are you know me? I, mean, come on. I think uh, this answers the question. I've known you way too long. Right. Sorry about that. Yes, sorry. Tell me about Kay. Kay was one of my readers, uh, and then she became my source. Not just any source, the source. She's my savior. If it wasn't for her, I'd be on the street. You said she um she only dealt with emails, right? Right. Can you forward those to me? Because I, I have somebody who I think can uh, track her IP address. You still don't trust me, huh? No, I'm just looking out for you. you know, and 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 why you? I mean, I mean, think about it. Why you? This girl should be going to the police, you know. And and instead she comes to you. What's so special about you? I I say. Don't question the miracle. Famous chuletas with uh, peppers and carrots. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Where's Maddie? She's washing her hands. What's, what's all that? Oh, it's my turn to review the kids' books. Mm. Yeah. Good. 
and how's the patient feeling today? I swear you two are just made for each other. Well, you know, we're the perfect couple. <laughs> Alright, dinner <laughs> served. I like it. All yep. these freaking books. And it's like, Hello, Maddie. Please don't strain yourself to say hi to me. Hi, Mom. Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you, Renny. Hey, what about me? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought vampires don't eat human food. Vampires? Yeah, mm -hmm. Maddie saw one of those shit vampire movies today. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh. that's my plate. How was oh, it? <laughs> it may be the greatest movie ever. Oh, I really wanted to see it. Renny? No. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go see that crap. Well, come on, babe. Come on, babe, nothing. Besides, those aren't even real vampires. Real vampires don't twinkle in the light. Vampires ah. twinkle in the light because it makes Edward even more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what else twinkles in the light, honey? What? Drag queens. <laughs> Shut up, Renny. <laughs> Ange, how was your session with Dr. Felice today? It went, re it went really well. He said if I continue making progress this way that I'll be able to rejoin soon. That's really great. Yeah. Wait, does that mean we have to leave? Uh... Yeah, it would mean eventually I'd have to go. Mom, why can't Angel stay? Maddie, your TT can stay as long as she wants. <laughs> you guys have been more than generous. Seriously, Angel, you don't have to rush. I know, but... I miss having my own. Who's that? Uh, must be Sam. He wanted to borrow the hedge covers. Stay put, I have. It's a little late to be doing yard work, isn't it? you to very carefully put the gun down, okay? No, he's here. He's here. I saw him. No, 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 no. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. You were just having a bad dream, no. okay? It was just a dream. No, I saw... He killed you and, and, and Danny and... No, nobody did anything to us. You see, you see, I'm fine. I'm no, fine. But, but we're fine. Just, but I saw... Take, I saw... take it, take it easy. Take it easy, okay? Come on, just, just, let's, let's, let's just put this away, okay? What is that? What? what? I don't know. Um, I thought you were busy. Dr. Gage is in the building. I thought I'd wait and ask him if I could stay and watch. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, this whole obsession of yours, it's kind of weird. <laughs> That's nothing. What's this? The mayor's press conference. It's been playing on loop all day. And that's not all. Been visiting this site, nynetworks.com. The guy who's running the site has like figured out that he's been operating for years. You just check this timeline. All you true seekers out there, this is where you're gonna have unedited, unfiltered news. Oh, shit! 
That was freaking awesome. Okay. Get out, Gio. Let's, Wait, let's come I, on. But, but, but Dr. No, D, no, I was... Let's go. Let's go. And get out. But Would you like to talk about what happened the other night? Ms. Vega, we've made a real breakthrough in this case given the small handfuls of our appointments. I'd hate to see so much hard work gone to waste. I almost shot my niece. I could have killed any one of my family members just because I had a, a bad dream. How long have you been sleeping with a gun under your pillow? Since I left the hospital. And I assume you keep it there for protection, yes? From this masked man? You don't understand. He's, he's everywhere. Every time I close my eyes, I see him. I don't know what he wants, and he won't leave me alone. Angel, listen to me. Very closely, very carefully. What you are suffering from is commonly referred to as survivor's guilt. You are subconsciously punishing yourself from the death of your partners. You need to understand that what happened, happened. And it is not your fault. You lived, and for that you should be eternally grateful. The steps are being taken to bring in the killer. Things are in motion so that your friend's deaths are not in vain. But now, you too have to put things in motion. Steps need to be taken on your part so you can be free to live your life. Now I'm here to help you, but you have got to want it. It's Angel. Yeah, I know. It's, it's been a long time. You're a hard man to get a hold of. Uh, listen, are you are you free later? There's something I want to ask you. Angel, I want to help, but I really can't right now. This place is a madhouse, and I haven't slept in days. Phil, I just I just need a copy of I my. I can't file. do that, Angel. I can't explain right now, but I can get in deep shit for a stunt like that. There's been. I really think that I can be a help to this investigation. Angel, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Give me a call later, maybe we can grab a beer, okay? Call me. Bye. Wait, Phil! Fuck! my shift with one of the other assistants. So I was just doing laundry when I heard footsteps. Uh, did you need help? You look flustered. Is everything okay? Yeah, uh, I'm fine. Um, listen, I just wanted to apologize about the gun. Let's not mention it. Is Maddie okay? She's fine. But I'll bet she'll be losing that bad habit of bursting into random people's rooms. I know you better than anyone else. You'd never hurt any of us. You know, I was serious when I said you can stay here as long as you want. I remember how you used to deal with your problems. Head first, arms swinging, beat it till it's down. Yeah, you were always a sneaky little shit. Oh, you taught me to be sneaky. Your name may be Angel, that's as far as that goes. And I'm bigger than you. I'm not. Still carrying around the hairpins everywhere? Ever since you graduated. Oh, that's the lights. <sighs> to be continued?
Excuse me, would you guys like to answer a couple questions for nynetwork.com? Excuse me, sir, would you mind answering a couple questions for nynetwork.com? Excuse me, would you guys like to answer a couple questions for nynetwork.com? Excuse me, sir, would you mind answering a couple questions for nynetwork.com? Sure, no problem. Nick LaRosa, I'm from nynetwork.com. Have you heard of us before? No. Uh, my name is Nick LaRosa. Have you heard of nynetwork.com before? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, have you heard of us before, sir? Actually, I haven't. Uh, we're an online blog site. We're currently doing case studies on uh, serial killers and crime in New York City. Excuse me, would you like to answer a couple questions for nynetwork.com? Who uh, heard of the current status of uh, vigilantes or any kind of um, serial killers or walking around New York City at the moment? Uh, sadly, yeah. What's your opinion on um, crime, the crime rate in New York City or anything you've heard of that? I don't, I'm a tourist, but I hear it's pretty bad. Well, not recently, but of course there's the ones from, you know, days past. Uh, I think New York City people just shell show. The New York Ripper? Yes, sir. Wow, that sounds serious. We have a couple questions we'd like no. to ask you, please. Uh, excuse me, miss. No. Yes. I also see the seriousness nature of the crime going on. That's right. Well, it's news to me. I haven't heard a thing about it. A couple questions, questions for nynetwork.com. We just have a couple questions we'd like to ask you oh, about man, the current city right in New York you City. You might, the current, oh, no, I'm on the phone. Do you see me on the phone? Do you see me on the phone right now? Yeah, yes, sir. Do you see me on the phone? I was wondering if you I'm can busy right now. Thank you. you hang up the phone for one second for nynetwork.com. Okay, should Jesus come back? This really be a good lunch. There you go. Relax, I'm here to talk. I remember our last talk. I still press charges, you know. Nick LaRosa, born February 7th in Valley Stream. Went to Queens Lincoln High School, joined the school newspaper, then went to Columbia University for three semesters before dropping out to start NewYorkNetwork.com which currently has 13 members. You also have one misdemeanor for possession of marijuana. And your mother, Ilsa, and her fourth husband moved to Tampa while you were in school. So are you intruding in my life now? Just wanted you to know how it feels to have somebody invade your privacy. Fair enough. How the hell did you find me? Do you always broadcast your lunch breaks on Twitter? So would you change your mind about the interview? Depends. Depends. Those are the witnesses you said you had. Have you seen them? Not yet. Where are they? What's all this about? I will give you your interview. Everything you wanted to know. On one condition. What do you want? Joel. It's Nick. The cop, Vega, she flipped, man. Listen, 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 listen. She flipped, man. She, she changed her mind. She saw the error in her ways. Whatever analogy you want to use, man. She changed her mind, and she's going to talk. She's going to talk, man. Uh, after the interview with uh, Somme Batiste, well, uh, there's just this little, um, small, incy, tiny, small, like, tiny, uh, stipulation. No, it's, it's, it's not money. She wants to be there in the interviews. I, I understand that this could be a bad thing. I mean, I know that, like, I mean, I'm telling you, I've tried, I tried everything in the book. I, 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 I would marry this girl. I would marry her. I would marry her to get this interview. But I don't have to. I don't have to. She just agreed to do it. I just have to do this, like, this little, itty, 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 little favor, and it's all good. It, it, it won't go south. It will not, it will not go south. I, 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 I guarantee it will not go south. I will keep her in check. All right? Okay, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you later. I got another call to make, okay?
there's uh, there's just one one little last thing. I love you, man. You, man. I'm sorry, man. Hi. Hi, Nick Rosa. Nice to finally put a face to the email. Yeah, thank you so much for meeting me. Sure. Oh, uh, this is uh, Angel Vega. She's a uh, an actual NYPD detective. Um, she's investigating this with me here today, and she wanted to hear your story. So I hope that's okay with you. It's fine. I'm glad the police are finally interested in taking me seriously. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Starting to get nervous, a little. Well, um, I'm sure this will be a good load off your shoulders. <laughs> Funny, that's what I kept telling myself all last night. Yeah, me too. Um, just breathe, you know, relax, and take it nice and slow. We're in no rush. So. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be video recording this, so um, I just need you to sign a waiver afterwards. Okay. All right, so we'll just start with your uh, your name, uh, age, occupation. Well, my name is Somme Batiste. I am 21 years old, and I am a bartender. Where do you uh, where do you bartend? Karaoke bar down on Third Avenue, Calhoun's. Calhoun's. You've been there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I <laughs> I uh, did this belting rendition of um, what is, what is love. Baby, don't hurt. Hide Maybe. away. The yeah. place probably went crazy for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got up on one of the speakers. And I, I went for a, I went for this dive into. Um, uh, so, so may whenever, um, whenever you're ready. I was six years old and It's okay. Be calm, child. It's okay. Open your eyes. There you go. I have something just for you. A nice red lollipop. Take it. It's okay. There you go. Now, you need to go back to sleep. Because little girls your age should not be awake at this time. There you are. Dream of happy things now. And pray you forget tonight. Dream the dreams of being a princess. Dream of being a famous movie star. Dream of being in a far off land, away from the world that made you. 
away from the world that made me. Sleep, little one, and sleep well. I will see you again. Listen, Somme, do you remember any illegal activity in your house? Something with your parents, maybe? I don't know. I never really thought about it before. Try to think back. Did your parents owe any money? Drugs? They fought a lot. My parents weren't the nicest of people. Wow. Okay. Um, that was very um, interesting. Um, thank you so much. We've taken enough of your time in today. So much. So. No, no, thank you. It's good to know I can finally tell that story and not be treated like a child. You know, there's one thing I never got over. I, I never understood how I fell asleep that night after seeing all that. I never felt so calm. I also felt that he was sorry. Nice car. Uh, thanks. It's not mine. It's my sister's. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Why does that make sense? Uh, no, it's just something my dad told me. He, uh, he always said you can tell a lot about a woman by the kind of car she drives. Can you? Yeah, you can. Don't knock it. I didn't say anything. This car, it screams domestication. Hmm. Husband, kids. Normalcy. So how'd you find out about this girl? Same way I got a hold of you. Well, Bertie told me. Okay, I can see a trust is going to be an issue between us. Look, if you give me a little bit of your situation right now, I'll give you a little bit of my situation. Well, it depends on what you already know. Well, I know that on the night of the 14th, you were probably off duty, which is why you were suspended. I know that two guys were murdered without any trouble, which is odd because they were both armed and trained. What is this guy's problem? Is he following you? I have no idea. So, uh, either way, it seems like you've already got, you know, everything you need. All I'm good for at this point is just a free ride. No, what I have is the bare facts. What I need is the heart of the story. I mean, to know what it's like to really be in that situation. To really be there and come out the other side in one piece. I should be writing this down. What am I thinking? Hey, what's this? What? Is this a sketchbook? Wait, what? Don't, op don't do open you, that. Do you draw, Megan? Yes, I do. Don't open Here, that. I'm just taking a quick peek. <sighs> okay, thank you. Close the book. You're really good. Thanks. Are you okay? We need, we need to get off the shoulder.
Now, Reese, what have I told you about bringing your toys into work? Dr. Gage, so glad you could join us. Who could miss an opportunity to examine a man that makes Ted Bundy look like Barney Rubble? Uh, oh, do uh, you know Detective Marlowe? Reese, it's good to see you. Likewise. So how's it going? Hmm, it's like a Saturday night special. Sure. Where did you say you found this on the body? It was attached to this thing on his arm. Looks like something my ex-wife might carry around with her. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Marla. Well, I would be really, really careful with that one. Um, okay, I, I'll just examine the body. If you could log all of these items, and please, when you're done, give them to Detective Marlow. Um, got it? Yes. I'm going to examine the body here. What, are you just going to ignore me now? Sucks when uh, someone is trying to get your attention and then they just brush you off, doesn't it? What do you want me to say? I'm lead detective in a very high profile case. My social life takes a back seat to my job. And your personal life? Oh, Reese. I'm oh, sorry, that's the best I can do. Can I at least help you with this? At first I thought you were just mad at me, but it's more than that, isn't it? Do you remember that feeling that you would get as a little kid when you knew something bad was going to happen? The pit of your stomach starts to tense and then you'd break out in a cold sweat because you knew at any moment that something was going to jump out from the shadows and take you away. What happened? I've had that feeling ever since they brought that body in. Just tell me something. Anything about this case. I just, I need to know something that makes this just another day in the morgue. I don't know. What can I say? Gio, what were you doing? Sleeping. Sleeping? What, where were you? Actually, you know what? Forget it. I really don't want to know. What was the name of that website? Um, NY... NewYorkNetworks.com um. <sighs> Servers are ancient. This whole place is falling apart. Keep it up, Herb, and I will not hesitate to shank you. Welcome to NYNetwork.com. All you truth seekers out there, this is where you're going to have unedited, unfiltered news. This is not tabloid journalism. This is not mainstream media fluff. This is news from the people on the front lines. I'm Nick LaRosa, and this is nynetwork.com. Oh, oh, um, watch this one. Okay. That's the ripper right there. What the hell is he saying? Oh man. Oh, okay. Check it. It's like Halloween a few years ago. There was these teenage punks who were causing all sorts of trouble. They decide to hide on an overpass and jump whoever came across. Guess who was the first one to walk by? little shits didn't even know what was coming. The ripper cut through them like they were nothing.
Can you imagine the type of badass it takes to kill four guys and walk away like nothing happened? Gio, I swear there's a pharmaceutical out there that can help you. You know I'm not some whipping boy you can just insult. If it wasn't for the fact that you're 18 different kinds of hot, I'd complain. <laughs> You are not one to talk about complaint. No way. Welcome to the special edition of NYNetwork.com. We are here on location at Rikers Island Correctional Facility to interview inmate Gabriel Spade for the death of his then girlfriend, Ava Garcia. Right here, right now, is the unedited, unfiltered conversation. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today, Gabriel. <clears throat> How's your stay been so far? Okay, well, uh, before we start, maybe you can just tell us why. Why? Yeah. Why are you here with a camera? Why am I here in chains? Why, why, why? Why the fuck why? Which version of why do you want? The nasty bit? All little gory details? What's that saying? The truth shall set you free. Not feeling too free these days. Maybe in three years' time. Please tell us what happened. Ava. She loved to dance. She could dance every day for the rest of her life and be happy. <laughs> Even when there wasn't music. There was this grace to the way that she moved. We went out that night, this little place on Grand Street. They had live music and it all just clicked. Perfect place. Perfect music. Perfect woman. We walked home. The night had started off warm, but there was this cold wind that blew through. I didn't know it then, but it was a sign sign of things to come. He appeared out of nowhere just like that cold wind. He took her. I chased after them, but I thought she was gone. Gone forever. But he came back for me. It all happened so fast, I... Before I knew it, the axe was in my hand. Nobody gets up after that. But what he did to her, I can never understand why he did what he did. What was it about us that he had to destroy? thought it would end with me, but you're saying otherwise. It's not over. What do you mean by that? 
Let me tell you something. If you stay on this path, you better make your peace with God. It's not a man you're after. What is he then? Behold the pale horse. And the one that rode on it was death. And hell followed with him. Ava Garcia was uh, the first case that I worked on when I transferred here. Stayed with me for a while. Gio, go grab Marlo from the suite and have him come here. Now. So is this your sister's house too? Uh, yeah. My brother-in-law bought it for her after a settlement. Nice settlement. Yeah. <laughs> um... Thank you. For what? For earlier in the car. Something happened? Let's just make sure you don't do any hands-free driving. You're welcome. Uh, sorry. Danny, is that you? Is everything So do you, do you want something to drink, or we have soda, water, iced tea? Uh, I think I'll have what they're having. <laughs> iced tea will be fine. Oh, okay. So uh, listen, Nick, there was a uh, thing that somebody said that really just stuck out in my mind. And what's that? She said that, that he was sorry, and... Thanks. I like pink. It really reminded me about that night with me. I couldn't get that out of my head. What happened that night? I mean, it's... It's a little fuzzy. I... Probably from all the blood loss, but... I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm losing my mind. You know... I, I don't have a plan B. I do not have a fallback plan. This is it for me. NYNetwork.com, I think, can really make a difference. I feel like if... Maybe if people just knew the facts, they could prevent something. Why, why are you telling me this? I guess we both have a deeper investment in this thing. I guess so. Uh, hey sis! Oh, hey! Uh, I didn't know you were here! Hi! There's people! Yeah, uh, Nick, this is my sister Danny. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Danny and Nick LaRosa. <clears throat> Heard so much about you. I hope it was all good. It definitely sounded like it was. I'm sorry? Uh, he was saying good. that, uh, do you know the name of a cab company that he could take home? Yeah, I guess. Did something happen? We'll talk, we'll talk later. 
he seems like a pretty nice person. Yeah, apparently he is. Uh, that bruise on his cheek? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, head first, arm swinging, beat it till it's down. In my defense, he definitely had it coming. Mm -hmm. What's up, Ange? Mommy, you still going out tonight, right? Yeah, in a little bit. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Uh, <clears throat> talk? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, oh my god, no, uh, no, there's nothing there, there's not happening. Hey, no. you never know. I will hurt you. Never, ever bring that up again. I'm sorry about that. It's been an interesting day, to say the least. Hold on. I'm just putting on a speakerphone. Go ahead. Nick. Nick, listen to me, okay? I need you to listen to me very carefully. The emails from Kay, the ones that I reverse traced the, uh, the IP addresses. Okay, they came back. The message came from two locations, okay? One of them is from some, uh, uh, some commercial building. A bunch of these companies, they get together and they rent out the space. They use the same internet connection. You there? Okay, good. The, the second part pertains to you, okay? The address is from an apartment on the Upper West Side. The girl uh, lives there. Her name is Karina Penn. It's Karina with a K. And get this, Karina is an actress. Okay, she's playing you, man. She's playing you big time, okay? It's one big setup. Hello? Shit. Come on, come on, pick up. Okay, good. The, the second part pertains to you. Okay. Joel. Joel. What's what's happening here? What do you? What... What's going on? I don't understand what's happening. Just speak to me. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's happening.
it's okay. Everything will be fine. Listen, I, I got this message. No, I can't hear you. Can, can you hear me now? Listen. To
angel, Vega. My angel. Do not fear the end today. No, you will not die. You are being shown the truth. the most perfect human being the world has yet known. And when I became fully convinced that I was in reality the monster that I am, I was filled with the bittersweet sensations of despondence and mortification. If for one instant I had thought what might be the hellish intention of my fiendish adversary, I would have rather banished myself forever. Inflamed by pain, I vowed eternal hatred and vengeance to all mankind. I will revenge my injuries. If I cannot inspire love, I will cause fear. Thank you. 
didn't do much in the world, and for that I am sorry. But you are stronger for it. I have since forgotten the old ways, but we shall journey together now. I am alone and miserable. Man will not associate with me, but one as deformed and horrible as myself would not deny herself to me. This being, you must create. Miss Vega, wake up. Miss Vega, wake up. Miss Vega. Amazing. Dr. Felice, what are you doing? Just breathe deeply, Bobby. Dr. Felice! Oren Felice was a simple man, a farmer in the Dominican Republic. He had no wife, no children, no one to miss him when he disappeared suddenly in 1989. No one to see his body being tossed into the ocean. No one to see his name reappear here in New York two years later. It seemed like a good man. So please, out of respect for him, call me. What is going on here? It is the secrets of heaven and earth that I desire to learn. What are you talking about? Ah, this Atmak is a wonder, isn't he? Even I cannot help but marvel at the progress he has made on his own. Exposed to the harshest environments on the planet. There he stands. In one piece. Mostly one piece. You're not the only one to have a dark past. I too have fears and regrets. But my eyes have been opened, and I see the error of my ways. So your Mac only wished to not be alone. But we have reconciled, and I have vowed to help him with his wish. What do you want? It is not what I want. It is what he wants. He has decided to choose you as his companion. What? You think it was luck that you lived while your friends died? Or that you see him in your dreams and fantasies? <laughs> the whole time, if you were wondering, we had to make sure that you were worthy of the gift that you are about to receive. Now, in order to fix something, it has to be broken. And this particular process is so fickle that just one part, if just one part is not done correctly, the results can be disastrous. I won't do it. I have to admit, with your profile, I saw that coming. So to increase my success rate in this process, I have decided that extreme coercion is in order. Oh, you must be Daniel. That makes you modest. Mm. I have heard so many good things about the two of you. What the fuck is wrong with you, Felice? What is this, a little role reversal? Okay, I'll play it. The problem with me is that when I was a young doctor, I learned the hard way that death is not the problem, it is life. Life is fickle, life is frail, it is weak. But it doesn't have to be. Tell me, Miss Vega, what would you do to protect your family, your loved ones? You would do anything even at the expense of other people's lives. So tell me, Ms. Vega, do you think you have what it takes to protect your family at all costs? Or do you think it's Daniel who has it? Or maybe it's Madison? So much of this process is blood-related, and there are certain genetic traits that respond better than others. You could say that if you fail, Subjects. Where's Freddy? Now that was something I had to contend with. What to do with the one non blood relative that would be absolutely of no use to me?
problem solved. See you Mark. Take them to the bank. <laughs> When I get out of this wheelchair, I'm going to fucking kill you. We need you to be as healthy as possible. What are you going to do? Are you sure that she is the one that you want? Her psyche is less than appealing for the drama she will suffer. No, she is not to be harmed. I will do what I want with my prize. You do what you promised me. Looks like you two don't get along so well, huh? Quite the contrary, Miss Vega. This is how we show affection. Stay here. I want to have a word with the sister before we begin. Wait, I, I don't care what you do with me, just let my family go. Why don't you two get to know each other better while I'm away? understand what I'm trying to do here. You want to end all forms of human suffering? Yes! That is exactly it. At the cost of people's humanity? I have learned a long time ago that everything has a price. So long as the answer to you, you don't care either way. You think it's that easy? You think this changes anything? You killed Renny. You killed my friends. I hate you. For someone who has watched their husband's head get cut off, you are pretty resolved. You are stronger than your sister, aren't you? No, that's not true. Angel's the strong one. She always was. Head first, arms swinging, beat it till it's down, that's her way. And she's good at it. Better than I was. Though not for lack of trying. So she taught me to be smart. To be sneaky. I still think she was named Angel as a joke. Very cute. 
However, both you and Marison are required. Why? That would be telling. You want to know a secret? The first thing Angel taught me when she was a cop mm -hmm. was how to pick handcuffs. <laughs> okay, Maddie, I need you to be very quiet, okay? Just stay behind me and do what I say. No games. Get a fucker up! Oh. Maddie, please wake up. Maddie, come on. Maddie! Maddie! Okay, Maddie, is anything hurt? Yes. What hurts? I, I can't hear that. Okay, well, you gotta you gotta get up and you gotta use it. Come on. No! I know, baby, but come on, we have to go. No! Oh. Do you think you can use it at all? Okay, come here. Okay, I'll 
want you to hide back here, okay? Promise you'll stay back here. If I tell you to run, you run. I should have done this earlier. She was supposed to be mad! I've had enough of your orders. So I'm the one in charge now. Grab the girl, we have to go. Not her! The little one! I said take her! Angel is no good to you now! She is your consolation prize! Take the girl she's seen my face! I'm gonna hurt another child! Damn it! Angel? Look like shit. <laughs> well, you don't look so hot yourself. Well, you should see the other guy. <clears throat> we got him, Angel. We got him and he's dead. And police? Got him too. He's alive. Where's Maddie? actually have a friend that's going to watch us. Okay. Well, why don't you get some rest, okay, Superwoman? some focus here. PDC is going to be here any minute. And I got to go give a press conference. I'm going to take off two weeks after that. Okay. <laughs>
and I never see a face. Praying to a God that is saving grace. Falling to my knees, got a knife in my back. I'ma beg for my life. Bow down to see your man. Shadow passing by, and I never see a face. Praying to a God that is saving grace. Falling to my knees, got a knife in my back. I'ma beg for my life. Bow down to see your man. Dark is the devil. Reach my level. Came from hell, and I live for a rebel. Cold as ice. Head ain't right. Got one brain, and I never think twice. You just running out of time. Don't believe killing the crime. You're gonna take your life away, and they never gonna find bodies right beneath that bridge. 60 women, 50 kids, 25 will cut up guys, and they never gonna live. Shadow passing by, and I never see a face. Praying to a god that is saving grace. Falling to my knees, got a knife in my back. I'ma beg for my life. Bow down to see your Mac. Keep on begging for a chance. I just need a second glance. Gotta see what's in really hiding right behind the mask. Keep on begging for a chance. I just need a second glance. Gotta see what's in really hiding right behind the mask. And I never see a face Praying to a God that is saving grace Falling to my knees, got a knife in my back I'ma beg for my life, bow down to see your magnet